I've been working on a few little projects in the new Adobe Photoshop CS6 video editor and one of them was a good example of a few of the little features that make the simplicity and power of Photoshop's new video editing tools uh, pretty evident and useful right off the bat. This is a little project I'm adding to from a final cut edit of a video I made in 1995 on my uh, uh, National Parks project of when we climbed to the south rim of Mount St. Helens. And we had this video of the entire uh, trip and um, the shoot up on top and so I wanted to add a few things to it in Photoshop's video editing capability and so this is what I did. I very quickly did a little iPhone video just as a little intro and context to the uh, video and we happened to shoot that a little crooked so I straightened that in Photoshop then I decided I wanted to add a few titles to the video overall so I added my logo and a little caption that would float along the whole length of it and of course most fundamentally it seemed to me that the uh, original video capture uh, could use a little uh, editing that would prove a, a bit challenging in Final Cut so with the power of Photoshop's adjustment layers, I decided to give it a try and uh, was able to do something that I think was pretty productive in that um, the video was originally pretty contrasty and uh, so I use a Photoshop adjustment curve layer and uh, lightened up the uh, shadows as you can see here and brought down the whites and ended up with a much more um, visible view of some of the contrasty shadowed areas up on top of the mountain and then additionally to that I decided that the saturation on the red was a little out of hand so I changed that a little bit as well so uh, just a few little things that were very helpful with Photoshop's uh, video editor to, to straighten up a video shot to uh, add some titles and do a simple little sequencing of some things on an already finished project in a sense to make it more usable right now.